I haven't always had an easy route myself, but I've had help, and some people have, don't have help. I can't really imagine what that is to not have support when you're down. 2018, there was 25 men and six women that were counted at that point in time count. Many of them lived, slept in places that were not meant for human habitation. Three of those people at that time were, said they were veterans. I'm thinking that not everybody was counted at that event. You might have as many as 35 resident, year-round people that are unsheltered. I was about a week here but I was homeless in Juneau for about a month. A lot of them are just people that have had a bad run of luck, ran out of funds, maybe the place they were staying with was sold out from under them. Most of them aren't even drug users, but a lot of people turn the blind eye to homelessness in Sitka, because in the summertime, most of the homeless live in the woods, out of sight, out of mind. Homelessness can be defined as sleeping on somebody's couch. So even though you have a place maybe for the night, you don't know about next week. Literally, somebody could come here and stay at the hostel for a month and probably pay less than what it would cost them to rent an apartment and buy utilities here in town. We want to cater to travelers and if we're able to accommodate some local people who are having difficulty with meeting housing needs and so forth, then we're you know, going to try and accommodate them to the best that we can. This is our men's single gender dormitory. I've lived here since 1982, and housing has consistently been difficult to find and unaffordable. There's definitely a need for a homeless shelter here. And, and we would welcome that, for, if for no other reason, that it would relieve us from this conflict that we're wrestling with. This is the Presbyterian Church, and this is the spot where we first thought there might be possibility of having a shelter. Surely we can find a roof where six or eight people can sleep for 10 hours a night for, for the six months of the year that's really difficult. If we just have a, a bare bone shelter where people come at 8 or 8.30 and get ready for the night and sleep and get up at 6, lights go on and they're out of the shelter by 6.30. So I think about the size of a garage, a restroom. It would be outstanding if there could be a shower or the possibility of putting a shower in. That would be outstanding. You know? That's about all the requirements. Oh, heat, sorry, heat. <laughs> My idea is that we as a community would be just as proud to say to someone, and this is our shelter here, as we are to say, and this is our arts facility here. Yeah, definitely use a warming shelter. Sitka probably needs a men's warming shelter. I think it's pretty cold. I think it's okay. I mean, I don't want to dig up that front yard.